Hello everyone. I'm Sid, your host, and today we are diving into the fascinating world of periodic motion. Periodic motion is all around us. From the rising and setting of the sun to the swaying of a swing, we encounter countless examples of motion that repeat themselves at regular intervals. In this video, we will explore the concept of periodic motion as explained in the NCERT physics textbook for 11th grade CBSE. According to the NCERT textbook, periodic motion refers to motion that repeats itself after regular intervals of time. It's like a cycle that repeats over and over again. To help us understand this concept better, let's consider a simple example mentioned in the NCERT textbook, the motion of a pendulum. When a pendulum swings back and forth, it undergoes periodic motion. In the case of a pendulum, the motion repeats itself as the pendulum swings from one extreme point to the other and then back again. This repetition creates a cycle, or what we call periodic motion. The textbook explains that periodic motion can be characterized by certain important terms. One such term is the time period, denoted by the symbol T. The time period represents the time taken by an object to complete one full cycle of motion. The time period is measured in seconds and can be calculated by dividing the total time taken for one complete cycle by the number of cycles. Another essential concept related to periodic motion is frequency, denoted by the symbol F. The frequency represents the number of cycles completed by an object in one second. The frequency is the inverse of the time period and is measured in hertz. It tells us how many times an object completes a cycle of motion in one second. Now that we have covered the basic ideas of periodic motion, let's explore some examples mentioned in the NCERT textbook. The textbook describes various systems that exhibit periodic motion, such as the oscillations of a mass spring system, vibrations of guitar strings, and the motion of a simple harmonic oscillator. If you have any further questions or suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Keep exploring, keep learning, and I will see you in our next video, where we will dive deeper into the fascinating world of simple harmonic motion. Until then, take care and happy learning.